Welcome back to the channel, my name is Brahim. I'm going to look into an article about GameStop CEO George Sherman to step down, to step down by July 31st. Now, Ryan Cohen, he's made loads of changes to the board, people leaving, literally, he was the only person left that's been in GameStop as part of the board that's been there before Cohen. So, he was the last one to go and he's leaving, that's confirmed. So pretty much the board is down to what Ryan Cohen has decided. He's been CEO of GameStop since 2019. Now that's two years. He had stock options available, but because of his poor performance, he wasn't able to keep them, which is damn amazing. GameStop Corp said Chief Executive George Sherman will step down by July in a series of changes to the video games retailers' leadership since uh, Ryan Cohen became board member in January. Um, Texas based since April 2019 with CEO GameStop agreed to allow Mr. Sherman to retain more than 1 million shares of restricted stock valued at $184 million at Monday's close as part of a separation agreement. GameStop has been seeking to replace Mr. Sherman who has been the fifth person to hold the role since late 2017. People familiar with the matter have said the company has been working with a search and firm to evaluate candidates and has been targeting people with a background in tech or video game industries. So they're looking for a new CEO and that's what's been said. Um, Mr. Cohen initially took a stake in GameStop in August and has been prodding the company to sharpen his focus on e-commerce and tech. So Ryan Cohen is going to take some old person that has no idea about tech, who doesn't have any understanding about innovation or doesn't really care about e-commerce. He's looking for someone that's experienced. So it'll be interesting to see who the new CEO will be of GameStop like really they need to be in tech really now here is another thing that you guys are gonna like GameStop paying off their long-term debt now there's a lot of stuff to read here or a lot but let me make it real simple for you today issued an irrevocable notice of redemption to redeem $216.4 million in principal amount of its 10% senior notes due 2023, the notes. On April 30th, 2021, the voluntary early redemption covers the entire amount of outstanding notes. The entire amount. Notes will be redeemed by the company using cash on hand at a redemption price of 100% of their principal amount plus accrued and unpaid interest up to by excluding the redemption date of April 30, 2021 plus the applicable premium due to the holders of the notes in connection with an early redemption. Notes are to be surrendered to the US Bank National Association, the trustee, in exchange for the payment of the redemption price as more fully described in the notice of the redemption sent by the registered holders of notes. They've basically paid off their long-term debt. They have no long-term debt anymore. That's what this article say. New CEO, no long-term debt, amazing, amazing. So, personally, I think that's amazing news for the GameStop. Debt-free, GameStop getting rid of the long-term debt and look at the new CEO, amazing. What do you think is the next step that GameStop should do? Put it in the comments down below.